Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at Blue Star Linux, a very beautiful operating system. But before we get started, please remember to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on my socials, they're in the description below. And if you'd like to be a patron to my channel, go down below in the description, go over to Patreon, and sign up. Blue Star Linux. When you download it, throw it on a USB or load it up in a virtual box. This is the screen you're met with. It's a very beautiful distribution. It seems to be pretty snappy, pretty quick. I'm going to zip on over to their website. It's not actually their website. And take a look at the information on it. Blue Star Linux, a solid Arch-based Linux distribution with KDE desktop environment. Just basically states that Blue Star Linux is an Arch-based distro. The developers seek to provide an up-to-date packages and host of desktop and multimedia apps out of the box. The aim of the distro is to provide a solid operating system that provides a wide range of functionality and ease of use without sacrificing beauty and aesthetics. I could not find a Blue Star Linux website, so I'm looking at this on Linux and Ubuntu. So if you want to get more information about that, zip on over to their website and they give you that information. So we're going to close out of this. Up top, you've got a panel that if you hover over, pops up. If you click on the little arrow here, it gives you your notifications, iBus panel, K organizers, clipboard, night color control. Then you've got sound, you've got your internet, USB, you got your battery power on your laptop, you got sound settings, you got your Octopi notifier, you got calculator, you got time, and then if you Click on the menu over here. It drops down all of your applications. You got on the desktop, Blue Star Linux installer. Then you've got home, which is your files, desktop documents, your usual suspects that are right here. And down on the bottom, you do have a dock. You've got four different desktops that you can pull up. Show desktops also there. You got your Dolphin file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, Dolphin's up. Pull it down here. I like the aesthetics of it. It's, it is really beautiful. They are correct about that. You've got your usual suspects over here. Now, if there's some of these that you don't want to show here, you can always like remote recent files search for if you don't want to see the recent files just right click and you can hide search for if you want to hide that you can go ahead and go down there and hide that selection and then that gives you a little bit more room here now if you want these icons on the side here a little bigger just right click in this open area icon size right now they're on medium if you want to bump them up to large just click them up to large and a little easier to see now these right here if you want those bigger you just come down to the slider down here zoom them up. Now, the order of these over here, if you want to change them up, let's say you want something else below home other than desktop. Let's say you want to move your downloads up. You just left click it, drag it up and drop it. Same with videos and pictures and anything you want to move over there, you can adjust this to however you want it. So let's close out a dolphin. We've got console. Let's see if they've got HTOP out of the box, which they should. Right there, it pops up. It says Blue Star Linux. Uptime, packages, present RAM being used is 803 megabytes. Shows that I'm on an AMD Ryzen 5 and we will try HTOP. HTOP, memory-wise, says we're using 1.11 gigabytes of what I have assigned to this machine. I had a little issue. I usually only issue my virtual machines 2 gigs and 2 CPUs. This one would not boot without 4 gigabytes of RAM. I figured I would go ahead and inform you of all that because if you watch my videos, you know I keep my systems pretty low, so that way you can see how they operate. But this is only operating on 2 CPUs and 4 gigs of RAM, and your CPUs are running at rest a little under 10%. So we shall close out of that. You've got GIMP out of the box. It's on your dock. You've got VLC, LibreOffice Writer, FileZilla, Thunderbird, Firefox, Pigeon Internet, and then System Settings. Let's go ahead and open up System Settings. And as you can see, we're in dark mode. I'm going to leave it in dark mode. Let's go ahead and see if we can change the wallpaper. Okay, wallpapers have loaded up. You've got the abstract, which is what we got right now. you got an Arch logo. you got a green BMW. Let's just throw it on the Arch logo to be different. See how quick it changes. Boom, there we go. So we can close out of that and as you can see pretty decent wallpaper now when you go over to appearance under appearance you're going to have a lot of global themes you've got breeze breeze dark breeze twilight and blue star linux has a ton of themes pre-installed at my count you get 14 blue star themes out of the box which is very impressive and then of course you're going to get your oxygen theme and then your breeze twilight breeze dark application style you can change what your windows and your applications look like and just another thing over on global theme and this is for kde in general if you've watched any my videos any of these over here that you don't like if there's something in there that you don't like and you want to get something different just go down here you can get new global themes fonts colors window decorations you can go download there's literally thousands of them out there so you can customize this to make it look how you want it to look and then you've got your personalization you can set up different things for notifications, users, accessibility, backups, KDE wallet, online accounts, user feedback, set up your connections, settings, input devices, display and monitor. So you've got a lot 
of things that you can change on this system. The beauty of it, I've been on Manjaro KDE for over three and a half years, and I'm over here all the time making changes. And it's great to be able to let your operating system evolve with you. So let's close out of settings. Now we're going to go up top here. We're going to open up the menu, see what all we have here. Education, mathematics, and science. You've got some card games, graphics, Digicam, GIMP, Gwynview, Color Paint, K Photo Album, Libre Draw, Ocular, Show Photo, Internet. You got FileZilla, Firefox, KGit, Conqueror, KTorrent, Thunderbird, Skype, Multimedia. You got Amarok, Dragon Player, KMix, VLC Media, Office. Of course, you got the LibreOffice suite. You got the ebook editor. You got Calibre, ebook viewer, Ocular, Settings, Advanced Network Configuration, iBus, Ice T Web Control Panel, Ice T Web Policy Editor, System. You've got a ton of system apps. Everything from Blue Star Linux Installer to Dolphin to Gparted to HTOP, InfoCenter, Console, K Sysguard, Quick Disk, Octopi. Let's zip on over and take a look at Octopi. Pretty simple way to see what you've already got installed on your system. Because I'm running in a virtual box, I can't update it and then go do searches. But you can check for latest distro news, check updates, install local packages. You can look at all, just installed, not installed, what repositories you're on. Right here, you got Blue Star Core, Extra, Multilib, Community, Blue Star, and the Arch User Repository. It's pretty simple to get applications and software. Once you install it, what you're going to want to do is go in and update it, obviously, and then you will be able to do the proper searches because right now it doesn't have the database downloaded because I'm in VirtualBox. So let's close out of that. And then of course, we just looked at Octopi. You can come down, you got the Notifier, you got Pac-Man Log Viewer, and you still can install your programs through Arch, through Pac-Man and do it from Terminal. And Utilities. You've got Arc, Emoji Selector, K-Alarm, K, K-Docker, K-Fine, K-Floppy. This has the full KDE library of apps already there. Lost and Found, Blue Star Linux Installer, Help, Please Donate, Power and Session where you can log off or power now. But that's pretty much it. Blue Star Linux. It's a beautiful distribution. If you're somebody that likes Arch Linux, you can zip on over, download Blue Star, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, try it out, run it through its paces, see what you think of it. It's been really snappy, really quick. Tell me what you think of Blue Star Linux down below in the comments. Is it something you would run, not run? What do you think it looks like? Also, before you go today, please like and subscribe or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on my socials, they're down in the description below. And if you would like to become a patron of the channel, down below in the description, click on Patreon, come on over and see us. Thank you for watching the video, and we'll see you in the next video.